Welcome to Dr. Mary Travel Best's Five Steps to Solo Travel Guide for women like you who need a little extra support traveling the world. I've been traveling solo since 1972. Now you can read the latest in the best selling book series, Five Steps to Solo Travel, Part B A Woman's Guide to Destinations in Her Prime. Please share this podcast with anyone you know who would be traveling yet isn't. They need to hear from you so you can make their trips the very best. Then you can rate and review it so your future women friends can find it and help bring peace to the world, one of us at a time. In this episode, the FAQ is, how can I feel safe when I travel solo? Today's destination is Rotorua, New Zealand. Today's lesson learned, losing my reading glasses. And travel advice, maps offline can help you find your way solo. And here's the FAQ. Annie asks Dr. Travelbest, I'm so worried about traveling alone. I must build my confidence to go on a trip, even with another person. If I was to go alone, what would be the biggest concern for solo travel safety? So here's my answer to you, Annie. You know, you should be aware, but not worry unnecessarily. Travel at the step you feel comfortable. There are many ways you will feel safer if you follow specific guidelines. And always ask for help before you go solo. Others will want to help you out. I've made a quick list here for you to follow. So here are five quick safety answers for solo travel safety. Stay connected. Keep others appraised of your itinerary. Two, stash your money, credit cards, and passport in separate places. Three, ensure your lodgings are safe. Four, stay healthy. And five, pray for a safe trip. Today's destination, Rotorua, New Zealand. If you like discussing climate, you will want to learn about geothermal, including geysers, and mud pools. One place to explore is on the North Island of New Zealand in a small town called Rotorua. It's a volcanic wonder space with unique geothermal attractions and landscapes. There are rare flora, fauna, and history of the Maori. The region has one of the world's most active geothermal fields, and it's five minutes from the city. You're going to see a geyser called Pohutu, This erupts to a height of 100 feet and does it up to 20 times a day. You can't escape the smelling of sulfur, the clouds of steam, and the volcanic bubbling. Besides this fantastic spectacle, what else is there worth seeing in Rotorua? Visit the shopping markets in the central city and then the free thermal reserve, which features beautiful public gardens, bubbling mud pools, colorful hot lakes, and free thermal foot pools. What about taking a bike ride past four major geothermal attractions on the thermal bike trail? You can even stop along the way for a dip in a natural hot river. You should visit a Maori village where the people live amongst the geothermal activity and use the boiling water for cooking, bathing, and warming their homes. I watched a dance of the Maori warriors and was entertained by the cultural experience. I recommend it. Depending on the weather, you can float in a thermally heated public swimming pool or one of many luxurious thermal spas. And now for today's lesson learned, losing my reading glasses. I lost my reading glasses and struggled with not having great vision. I was struggling with seeing small print on my phone. Don't lose your glasses. If you do, have a spare pair handy. If you wear contacts, Bring your eyeglasses as a backup when traveling. Today's travel advice, maps offline can help you find your way solo, free. Check out the map.me app where you don't need to have data, just GPS. It will help you route yourself even without an online connection. They have offline maps of the whole world. Search and discover travel maps, tourist guides, and navigation offline. There's even a web version, too. 
Maps.me works with no Wi-Fi or cellular internet and is free to use. All you need is your phone's GPS. It gets its data from OpenStreetMap. OpenStreetMap is an app you can download to your phone. You can find attractions, monuments, churches, viewpoints, museums, businesses, hairdressers, dentists, and cafes. And they have about 140 million customers in 190 countries. There are 1.5 million app store reviews, and they're based in Switzerland. I want to bring meaning to your travels. So send a question or a travel tip to info at drmarytravelbest.com. We can connect on my website, Facebook page, group, or Instagram. You can subscribe on YouTube, Twitter, or other social channels and find Five Steps to Solo Travel, the book series on Amazon. What's on your travel bucket list? Tell the doctor and her team of women who travel the world seeking the very best. Dr. Travel Best, that is.